<laughs> this is brilliant, you can't see what it is. Please go to your collection point. It's actually quite big. <laughs> Okay, 175.8. That is so sick considering I'm trying to lose weight. That's really, really, really good, that. So, why not show you what we look like at 175.8? 0 0.8 higher than we should be. Let's, let's go do that. Let me get right on that. Hmm. So, 175.8. Uh, the time is... Uh, nine o'clock in the morning, so it's just, you know, normal, woken up, <clears throat> not had any food yet, not had any water yet, I've been to the toilet, and this is how I'm looking. I hate doing this because, like, this just completely washes out any remote definition that I actually have in the first place, which is very little. So, here we go, here's standing to the front. To the side. And back. Okay, so first up, the fave. I always find that I struggle first thing in the morning, sort of just mobility wise, you know, like turning around left and right. I don't feel like loose and ready to be posing and stuff, but I'm gonna be training in a minute. So, should probably start getting used to that. I mentioned that in a couple of videos, like the, the need for me to start getting used to training earlier, because it's probably gonna be a thing that I have to do quite often, so we'll see, we'll see. That's the one I struggle the most with, in particular, the last thread, like, really opening up at this time in the morning, when I haven't done anything, or, you know, I, I do really, really struggle with that, but, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so, that's where we're at, um, 170. 5.8 pounds. You know one thing I always say is, is don't let the, the kind of scales dominate your, your day. Um, like right now, I've just had that and I'm like, oh, for God's sake, you know? And it's, it's put me on a downer, like I've put on weight and I'm trying to lose weight, you know? Um, but do not let it dominate your day. Say, right, okay, maybe that is the case. What have I got to do to improve it? And what I've got to do now is, even though it is only 9am, and you guys know how much I love. If you knew here, I don't love training in the morning, but training in the morning uh, is not for me, and it is something that I've got to do today, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to fit in my session. Simple as. I need some caffeine though. If I train early in the morning, like I need the caffeine, whereas in, in the afternoon I'm kinda like, okay, I had a monster earlier, like I'm, I'm good. Wakey, wakey. Nice one, thank you. <laughs> Do you guys know that sound? wondering where these were. I ordered them like ages ago. Literally what I was saying a minute ago, you know when you just need a bit more motivation, you don't want to let your weigh-in affect the day, like something like this arriving is kind of just perfect timing. I'm just like, yes! Cheers. <sighs> Let's train. Oh hey pups. Okay, Flicky. Yeah. Good girls. Good girls. Do you want to go out? That's a yep. Okie dokie. Yeah, come on. Yeah. This is Adele on BBC 
Team Radio 1 and it's workout mix time. So whether you're in the gym, if you're listening at work or just need some motivational vibes, here we go. for the, uh, the title, the new home gym edition. I'm very excited about this. Very, very excited. Perfection. Ha ha. Sorry, I love music, man. Let me turn this down for copyright. So what I want you guys to do is drop your thoughts, drop your guesses in the comment section below. What is the new piece? The new addition, the new, another word that means something new to do with the home gym. What do you guys think it is? Pause the video, let me know your thoughts in the comments. No cheating, no skipping forwards. Let's go get it, man, let's go get it. Seven days. Number 129, please go to your collection point. It's actually quite big. <laughs> this is brilliant, you can't see what it is. <laughs> No, no, I come up. Wow, what a great selection of videos. <laughs> Let me watch this one. Well, let's have a headline for that. <laughs> so then, everybody, if you have not already guessed, um, or just straight up not been watching the video, the new edition is a TV. It is a much, well, not much needed. You don't need a TV in your gym by no means. Ever, like, ever, you just don't, okay? Let's, let's be real here, you don't need a TV. However, <laughs> myself and the old man have wanted this for 18 months. I'd say, we were speaking about this earlier, I was thinking more like two years we've actually wanted a TV. Sort of 18 months we've kind of contemplated doing it. A year it's been like, yeah, we need a TV and now we have one. <laughs> um, in, in particular with this spin bike um, edition, I used to kind of just have my laptop set up on there, which was fine. It, it did the job and it was good and you know 
it wasn't very loud for one, the screen isn't very big, and I kind of had to really concentrate on the fact that I was watching YouTube and like listen for it, and uh, do you know what I mean? So, although it was a luxury to still be able to have my laptop and all that kind of stuff, it's not a, a TV, you know, a TV, a smart TV that you can just literally click YouTube and watch. And I'll tell you what guys, I, I already know it's a very, very good addition because I've done 80 minutes worth of cardio, so like 800 calories, and not even really realized, I just kind of kept going. I got lost in a Christian Guzman video, a Matt Does Fitness video, and before you know it, I've done like well over an hour, and then I'm like halfway through another video, I'm like, okay, I'll go to the end of the video, and I burned an absurd, absolutely ridiculous amount of calories, and kind of just lost track of time. Which, you know, is a good thing and a bad thing. But then at the same time, I never would have done that if I just had my laptop on. I literally, I, I just kind of part myself, watching, 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 and just kept pedaling, just kept going, you know. I'm dead chuffed with it, to be honest, because, purely because I am in a point, in a, in a position right now where cardio is a must for me. If you saw my Instagram post the other day, I would rather than just cut calories and just starve myself to, well not starve myself, but you know what I mean, to, to lose weight um, and create that deficit. I would rather do a bit more cardio and still eat a little bit more um, for the sake of, of, of literally just eating a bit more because I enjoy my food. I don't know whether you can tell. So having something like this where I can, can literally just kind of get lost in it, just do what, I, like I can have my phone, I can be answering DMs, I can be answering emails, texts, whatever, and have this on, and I don't, you know, it's, it's just really, really good, and it's gonna be very, very helpful for me achieving my goals, you know? <laughs> look at it though, look at, look how cool it looks. Right, so let me just get this straight. Having a TV in your um, gym, is really, really, really not essential. Like I say, you can stick your laptop on, you can use your phone, but in terms of me being productive whilst doing cardio, because time is money and all that, you know, I can stick the YouTube video on there and be answering DMs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you've been watching the channel, you will know that I prefer low intensity, steady state cardio because I can just be a bit more productive. Sometimes, if I'm in a rush, I will actually just, you know, do a hit circuit, do a hit workout. I'm rambling, but all I'm trying to say is that when I'm doing low intensity cardio, as in 45 minutes on the bike, having something like that just makes it a little bit more easier. Let's be honest, it, it's a cool kind of novelty thing that will take my mind off the cardio, hence the 80 odd minutes worth of cardio. Um, and plus, I can actually stick, oh, let me try it now, hang on. So I'm just thinking about putting an actual spin class um, music kind of thing on the TV so that if I wanted to do a proper high intensity spin class almost in the home gym, I could stick it on this TV. So spin, space, spinning class, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Free online spin class. Oh, this is, I have no idea if this is going to be any good, it's just the first one that came up. went on demand. Welcome to this free ride called the 28 Minute Calorie Crusher. You're going to love okay. it so much that you're going to head over to studiosweatondemand.com after this where you can That's get a free That's definitely what I'm going to do, yeah. Right, let's, let's zap on to the actual class, shall we? Okay, maybe not this one. 30 minute beginners. Here's a 20 minute one. Hey guys, it's Brian. Let's... Hey Brian. Sorry Brian, I'm going to skip you to find out if this is any good. For those of you joining us live, welcome to San Diego. Shocker, shocker, it's sunny. San Diego. I love me a bit of San Diego, but I mean, these classes are very good. You guys get the point. Um, it would be good if I could find like a YouTube online spin class thing that I can just stick on there and really, really go for it, you know, for a high intensity and kind of prolonged period of time, an actual kind of spin class in my own home gym. That'd be, that'd be really, really cool. So um, let me know your thoughts on this, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the co in the comment section down below. Did you guess it? Did you think it was going to be a gym piece of equipment? I've had a couple of message on, messages on Instagram saying that they thought it was a TV. I think I mentioned it a good few months ago that we wanted one. 
Um, and so a few of you guys clearly, well, a couple might have been been one person <laughs> must have actually remembered that. And so credit to credit to you guys um, if you have. Uh, but let me know in the comments. One more thing. Muscle food. Muscle food. I will be, as of t tomorrow, the day that you're seeing this video, um, Thursday the 14th? No, it's the 13th, isn't it? Thursday the 13th of June, I will be taking over the Muscle Food Instagram story. So I did it a around about a month ago, six weeks ago, uh, and it was really cool, just a really cool opportunity, a really cool thing to do. I love muscle food, I've used them for years, like five years now. Yeah, literally like five years. It's just pretty cool that I'm gonna be kind of running the stories, you know, so I'm gonna be doing, uh, what am I doing? Kind of like a full day of eating. Um, I'll just unbox what I get, show you what I eat, answer some of your questions and all that kind of stuff. So, if you are interested in that, head over to my Instagram and their Instagram. Um, they'll both be linked in the description box and be sure to um, tune in because that'd be pretty cool. Any support would be much appreciated because obviously, you know, just looks good, doesn't it? So I hope you enjoy that and I hope you've enjoyed this, but I'm gonna go and shower now. Good times, okay, cool. What? You didn't think I would do a muscle food takeover and not get a fresh trim, did you? <laughs> do you guys even know me? <laughs> um, I hope to see as many of you guys there as possible. Please get involved, ask questions, comment, all sorts of stuff. It would be great to see as many of you as possible over on the muscle food story tomorrow. It's a big deal to me, so any support from you guys would be really, really good. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Thank you for watching, guys. That is going to be it for today's video i hope you have enjoyed it please if you have drop a like comment down below subscribe if you are new and welcome to the family thank you for tuning in today guys as always much love together we will grow and i will see you in the next one. Oh, on that note your teas are on the way if you ordered one they're on the way i'll see you in the next one